So what we're showing here at IBC 2024 is a technical development example of working with Sony to introduce Blackmagic RAW to their Sony FX6 and FX9 cameras. This is in development and we'll have this available later in the year. But what we're showing is using the video assist technology to record Blackmagic RAW off the Sony FX9. This will enable all the owners of those FX6 and FX9 cameras to access Blackmagic RAW for post-production workflows and unlock the performance of Blackmagic RAW with the cameras that they already own and use from Sony themselves. So what you can see here is we've mounted a 7-inch video assist. Uh, this is the 12 gig HDR version. We're connecting to the camera via SDI. So this is going to the back of the FX9 through the expansion unit that Sony offer. So this unit enables the FX9 to output 4K RAW. The way that Blackmagic RAW works is we profile the sensor of the host camera to Blackmagic RAW. So Blackmagic RAW isn't a standard codec in a sense of it just treats all sensors the same. We understand that sensors have very different nuances and color profiles. So Blackmagic is built to understand individual cameras, individual sensors. So when we take the FX9 output 4K RAW to the video assist, the video assist treats it as the FX9 sensor. We record that into Blackmagic RAW as a 12-bit file. Um, and do a little bit of work in the video assist to make sure that it's profiled and packaged with metadata with Blackmagic RAW ready for DaVinci Resolve. When we take that file across to DaVinci Resolve, we demosaic it. So that's where we work with the color science of the sensor. And as an operator and an owner of the FX9 in Blackmagic uh, DaVinci Resolve, you get the profile of that sensor and the color science of the Sony technology through Blackmagic RAW ready for you to use. So rather than it being a blanket compression tool or a blanket codec, you get the performance of the Sony camera through the quality of Blackmagic RAW into the performance of DaVinci Resolve for full color grading. In the coming months, we'll release that as a software update for Video Assist. That'll be free of charge. That will unlock the power of Blackmagic RAW for Sony operators. So it brings Blackmagic RAW to Sony owners. We'll continue to work, so FX3 will be a product that we'll look at as well in the future. And then we'll see how we can develop that relationship with Sony and get Blackmagic RAW available for Sony operators so they can then unlock all of that with DaVinci Resolve.